Hello friends, welcome to War Wiki. Today we bring you a topic which is close to every American's heart. We present to you a brief video on one of the most successful, battle-tested, and one of the most exported tank in the world. Today we present a video on the American M1A2 Abrams main battle tank. The M1 Abrams is an American third-generation main battle tank. It is named after General Creighton Abrams, former Army Chief of Staff and Commander of United States Military Forces in the Vietnam War from 1968 to 1972. The M1A2 represents the U.S. Army's technological improvement of the basic M1A1 design and is currently one of the most modern battle tank in the world. Some of the most prominent improvement includes the addition of the Intervehicle Information System, or IVAS. The IVAS system allows for the automatic and continual exchange of information between vehicles. By incorporating information provided by an onboard position and navigation system, unit commanders can track the location and progress of subordinate elements automatically, without tasking vehicle crews. In addition enemy positions can be identified, plotted, and disseminated, while reports and artillery requests can be automatically formatted, transmitted, and processed. Lastly, map graphic control measures and operational orders can be rapidly distributed via the IVAS system. With its computer-controlled firing systems and all these digital communication features this beautiful giant is highly sophisticated. It's more like a computer behind an armored box. The most notable exterior changes on the M1A2 are the redesigned commander's weapon station and the addition of a commander's independent thermal viewer, on the left side of the turret forward of the loader's hatch. The vehicle has a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. The latest variant of this tank is called the M1A2 SEP or System Enhancement Program. It has improved armor protection, improved system components, improved computer components, and some other improvements. Let's look at some of its specifications in detail. Firepower The primary armament of M1A2 SEP version 2 is a 120mm smoothbore M256 cannon. The effective range of this main turret of German origin is from 100 meters to 4 kilometers. Secondary armament consists of a coaxial 7.62 mm machine gun, another 7.62 mm machine gun mounted over the gunner's hatch, and 12.7 mm MG mounted over commander's hatch. The mounted machine guns are powered by common remotely operated weapon station, popularly called Crows 2. The Crows system provides an operator with the ability to acquire and engage targets while inside a vehicle, protected by its armor. The Crows 2 is fitted with detached line of sight which enables the gunner to keep his sights on target, independent of ballistic solution for the weapon in use. The secondary machine gun mounted on the right of the main gun can be elevated from minus 35 degrees to plus 65 degrees and can rotate at a 265 degree arcade. The loader hatch weapon system is now protected by armor plates on 360 degrees. On both sides of the turret, the tank is fitted with six-barreled smoke grenade dischargers, model L8A1, designation M250. A smoke screen can also be laid by an engine-operated system. The tank can fire a wide range of ammunition which includes training rounds, high-explosive rounds to target infantry, as well as high-explosive anti-tank or armor-piercing rounds. The M1A2 has a target acquisition system with hunter-killer capability. Where one independent system acts as a hunter, in this case it's the commander using the CITV, acquiring and handling the target to the killer weapon system, the gunner of M1A2, who gets the job done. Most of the tanks produced in the early 90s lack this capability. Armor and Protection The M1 Abrams is the safest and most well-protected modern tank. The design employed in this tank ensures maximum survivability. The driver position is at the front in the center, the turret is in the middle of the hull and the power pack at the rear. The M1A2 SEP V2 has improved frontal and side armor for enhanced crew survivability. The tank has a Halon firefighting system to automatically extinguish fires in the crew compartment. Fuel and ammunition are stored in armored compartments, with blowout panels to protect the crew from the risk of the tank's own ammunition cooking off if the tank is damaged. The main gun's ammunition is stored in the rear section of the turret, with blast doors that open under power by sliding sideways only to remove a round for firing, then automatically close. The tank typically uses British-developed Cobham composite armor. In latest versions the armor protection was improved by implementing a new special armor incorporating depleted uranium. This new armor increased effective armor particularly against kinetic energy rounds but at the expense of adding considerable weight to the tank, as depleted uranium is 1.7 times more dense than lead. 
Recently Tank Urban Survival Kit or Tusk has been developed and employed on Abrams. This includes explosive reactive armor blocks over the track skirts and hull if needed, and a slat armor over the rear of the tank and rear fuel cells to protect against anti-tank attacks. Protection against spalling is provided by a Kevlar liner. An era or explosive reactive armor is like fighting fire with fire, it employs mild explosives which explode as soon as any penetrating shell of the enemy hits them. What happens is the external explosion deflects or destroys the enemy armor piercing shells and it cannot penetrate the tank's body. In addition to the armor, the latest version of Abrams tanks are equipped with a soft kill active protection system, the NVLQ-6 missile countermeasure device, simply called MCD, that can impede the function of guidance systems of some semi-active control line of sight missiles, and radio-guided anti-tank missiles. The MCD works by emitting a massive, condensed infrared signal to confuse the infrared homing seeker of an anti-tank guided missile. However, the drawback to the system is that in some cases the missile is not destroyed, it is merely directed away from its intended target, leaving the missile to detonate elsewhere. This device is mounted on the turret roof in front of the loader's hatch. Mobility The M1 Abrams mobility still depends on the continuous tracks invented 80 years ago, and it is one of the best in the world, they're designed to spread the weight of the tank over a large surface area. Each track is 50 feet long made up of 79 metal segments with replaceable rubber blocks. The M1A2 SEP V2 is motorized with an Honeywell AGT1500 gas turbine engine, which generates the maximum speed of 68 km per hour. The fuel capacity is 500 gallons which gives this beast a operational range of 425 km. This refers to the distance the tank can operate without being refilled with gas. The suspension used is high hardness steel torsion bars with rotary shock absorbers. Future Variants Although the recent variant in use is the M1A2 SEP V2. The version 3 is already under testing phase. Additionally a superior variant, the M1A3 is expected to be out soon. One of the biggest feature in this upcoming variant will be the auto loader for its main gun. Improved cameras and imaging systems for the remote weapons too are expected. A better thermal camouflage and superior electronics cannot be ruled out as well. M1 Abrams have been one of the most successful tanks for the United States Armed Forces. They have been used widely in many prominent conflicts like the Gulf Wars, Iraq, and Afghanistan War. Even today the Abram tanks are being used by NATO in Russian borderlands in Europe, and by Saudi Arabia in Middle East in the Yemen War. The M1 Abrams also make a very important export item for the Americans. The cost of a typical M1A2 SEP V2 tank is around $9 million. More than 3,000 Abrams tanks in all are being used by countries like Australia, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Kuwait, Egypt, and Morocco. Many more nations have showed keen interests in it. Saudi Arabia has been the biggest importer of these tanks. As recent as August 2016, the US approved a deal to sell up to 153 more Abrams tanks to Saudi Arabia, 20 of which were marked as battle damage replacements, suggesting that some Saudi Abrams had been lost in combat in Yemen at that point. The fact that US Armed Forces expects various variants of M1A2 Abrams to be active up till 2050, shows their confidence on this magnificent beast. While the American Abrams were undisputed champions in their class for most part of last three decades, recently many tanks from Russian, European, and even Asian origin have challenged its claim of supremacy. To understand where M1A2 Abrams rank amongst its immediate competitors do not forget to check out our comparison video by clicking the note on the top of your screen. Now we would like to know from you. What do you think? How good is the M1A2 Abrams with respect to its competitors like the Russia T-90MS, the British Challenger 2, the South Korean K2 Black Panther and the German Leopard 2? Do let us know your opinions by commenting below. We will continue to bring you such informative videos in future. Please do not forget to like this video and show us your support. If you want to catch all of our videos do not forget to subscribe our channel. Have a great day and do not forget to support WarWiki.